What is up guys, Rick is here with a new video and today Soul Awakening session on the Amazon server. A uh, pretty interesting leaderboard once again. We are at 17,534 points. So I'm going to unlock Wonder of Immortal pretty soon, which this time features an SSS stone. Um, pretty nice. So whatever, whoever gets this will get a huge summon. Maybe we can get a video of that summon. I, of course, won't go for it. Uh, I would on the Amazon server, actually, if we had the copies. We don't have enough copies to summon for that. So that's quite sad. Maybe next time we will have to see. Uh, it's a bit hard on the Amazon server to get uh, um, enough copies. We would have the story. That would not be a problem. A uh, quite interesting enough place six uh, now gets an ST hero. We were place six two times at least for the A plus heroes that we have. Um, and 50 people get an A minus or better. So that's quite nice. Currently 4,814 points. L LT Ikeaya um, was talking to him. If he gets it, he will send me a video. So that will be pretty huge. And then our Serpentis dudes, Phil and Ark, which was Soul. So two people already in position to grab an SS core, which will be quite huge as well. Move here, we got Loon, also from Serpentis. So a lot of Serpentis people actually in here. FMK, what JD, FH, GH, JD. He told me, uh, he, uh, told me to call him JD. <laughs> JD also in here at place 10 currently. I hope he can get a good uh, core and a good summon. Was saving up for this, so that's quite huge. Uh, and what's quite fun, Aris also in here. MD Luffy. My god, so many people for my clan in here. Um, if we check out the top 50. Uh, top 50 currently at 205 points. So, uh, yeah, quite achievable on Amazon to get an 8 here. Uh, but without further ado, let's go in there. Uh, we have a few copies of Transcendence Heroes. We have this Vulcan for starters. Uh, but I guess we, we should get the bad luck out of the way. Let's uh, put all of that bad luck on... Yeah, let's put it on that Sleepless. We got the Free Awakening here. So let's go. We got to do a few Awakenings at least. Uh, that was lagging a little bit. Probably preparing all the good luck for the Vulcan we are about to summon. Uh... And now we are obviously going to get an S tier. Just the easiest way. Uh, but honestly, if we get some solid summons, some D+, plus, some stuff, some C tier like this, uh, that gives us back some of the uh, contract story and makes it a little bit cheaper for us, that will probably be the best that can happen. I hope we can achieve it with those 2000 story gems, though this will be... Well, this will be a little bit problematic. What a weird copy, but it's D-, minus. we won't complain. Um, we are trying to make this as cheap as possible. The uh, target is to get the A- score, so top 50, and then to retire it, <laughs> which sounds weird, but uh, I want to save up some contract starry gems, and the easiest way to actually make contract starry gems on the Amazon server is by make, uh, competing in summoning uh, Gala, going for an A- minus or an A tier or something like that, and then retiring it, um, because, yeah, that's that makes you money here. The only thing that you, of course, have to spend is the copies, which, uh, yeah, it does indeed hurt our account a little bit. But uh, it's well worth it. It's well worth it, after all. Uh, D tier overall, that's pretty good. I, I have quite a few copies that, uh, that I summoned. We can do a few things. I got Naronia here as well. We still got a Wall Deck. We got the Lacium. We got some Ithaca copies as well that we can summon. If we get an A tier Ithaca, I will have a hard time retiring that. Hey, yeah, yeah. horrible. Uh, so let's see. Oh, some Astral copies as well. Yeah, Astral copies. Those can definitely be summoned, uh, even though we will probably never build him on the Amazon server. It's still one of the Transcendence heroes that I see the least use for, unless you want to build a PvP team specifically around him, which would be kind of fun. I, I had plans for a team with Azrael as one of the main damage dealers, or as the main damage dealer. I wanted to build that, but it's like, as always, you have to spend a lot of resources to switch up a team. So that's a little bit of a problem. And um, yeah, so I never ended up doing it. But maybe in the future, maybe the Age will at one point give us a way to regress heroes easily and or to, to switch around our uh, tree mats and sublimations and everything easily, which they didn't. Uh, they, they said while back that they thought about doing it till Halloween, which is now six months ago. Uh, so obviously they didn't. And um, well, now we are kind of in this situation where we have little 
opportunity to switch stuff around, little opportunity to test stuff, which is a, a bit annoying for me, I have to say. It makes it hard to like clear, well, not to clear content. I mean, clearing content on the main account at least, not really a problem. Um, but I wanted to try some other PvP teams. And it's not just as easy as in the past, where you could just go ahead and just put some gear on the hero and put him in there. And as long as he was E5, you were good to go. Uh, that does no longer work, in fact. And uh, now we are in the situation. Um, where we kind of stuck with the team once you commit to it. So, uh, by the way, the hero some people wanted me to summon as an A tier is this guy. Lord Bait. People want Lord Bait, want me to summon Lord Bait if I retire it anyway. And I said, why not? Let's do that. Let's summon the Lord Bait if I want to retire it anyway. We can go ahead and do that. If it ends up being an S tier, all the better. They get a little bit more money out of it. Can make a few cool videos. I guess that is well worth it. Uh, let's retire some of those heroes that we just summoned um, to get some contract starry back. And also, I think we still need to do a whole lot of summons. Um, do those summoning videos, uh, they are always a little bit cruel. You see your money go away. Uh, all the while summoning nothing better than the C tier. So, and in my opinion, by the way, uh, if you summon and uh, want to do stuff like this and think that you're going to get lucky and it will work out because you are going to get lucky in your 10, 15 summons, nah, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen, mate. Just not going to get lucky here. This is, this is like, if you calculate with six points per summon, you are pretty much on the good side. That will work out. But if you calculate with, I will get an AT hero in the middle and then it will all be, be worthwhile. Yeah, probably not. Probably not going to happen, I have to say. Probably not going to happen. Um, let's summon SQH again. We didn't even summon any SQH copies. I forgot about them. We have to do SQH copies. Um, where are mine? Okay, there we have. I, we have way more. We have way more. I summoned some. Um, so let's do that. Let's do that. Let's go for SQH. I was hoping for an A tier. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I did not calculate an A tier in here. I was hoping for some good copies. If we can get like a B or B minus or something like that, that's already quite good because that will help you. That will really help you. That gives you four or five summons. It gives you some contract story back, and that will bring you on the road to get something good. And on the Amazon server, I have to say, we oftentimes got some good heroes. We oftentimes got some good heroes. We got like this insane Amra with a minus attack. We got an insane Onkirimaru 5100 attack or something. Um, oh, oh, what do we get here? While I'm talking about it, B tier uh, SQH, full B tier stat 3800. Uh, all around 38, 39, 38. So skill damage, control immunity, offset, pretty use the stats. How good is that? B my a B tier, pretty much lower tier B tier, lower to mid tier. I would say, pretty good one. Um, probably not going to keep it, but it's, it's a B tier. I mean, like I, I I can't complain. It's a lot of points. That's a lot of contract story if we retire it. So pretty good summon, I would say. Um. Still, I think I think a bit under under the value that we really want. SQH um, on the okay, come on, that's better. <laughs> that's so filthy. <laughs> I complain that they sent me a better one. <laughs> oh God. It's nearly A tier attack, A minus. Oh my god, we're going to keep this one. <laughs> this one is all right. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> we are filthy lucky on the Amazon series. Okay, that's the one we are going to retire, and that's the one we are going to keep. I want to lock that because we are going to retire the other one. I want to make sure we don't retire this one. Uh, B tier, how much retiring value is that? Six hundred. I can definitely go ahead and do that. Oh, yeah, that, but that is like that is the wipe we want on the Amazon series, like getting a B tier and then just getting another one, just getting another one that's even better. Five thousand one hundred attack. I mean, you have to consider how huge five thousand one hundred attack is. That's like 
top end of B plus. 5,399 is the top end of uh, B plus. We are above 5,000, so that's really the upper end of B tier that you can get. And that is like a top score for a tenant. If you want a really good tenant, then 5,000 is definitely good. Everything beyond that, I mean, that, that is still possible, of course. You can get like a B tier or something with higher than 6,000 attack even. Um, but at that point, we are getting the really ludicrous amounts that get really expensive. And like 5,000 is really good value for a tenant, definitely. So let's see what else we can get. I mean, we, we, that were probably all the good summons that we are going to get. Everything else is highly unlikely. But uh, that was quite fun. That was quite fun, I have to say. A little bit of some tears in my eyes because I laughed so much. Uh, but yeah, that was that was quite spectacular. 5,100 really good. I mean, if we ever decide to go for an SQH, I mean, we're probably going to summon an A tier. But uh, we can still still do that. And if we go for an SQH, um, we can use the 5,000 warrant attack copy and that will be more than fine. So um, that is what we did. So let's go ahead, retire those. Or 130 starry, contract starry gems. Let's claim some of those chests. Check our rank. Uh, mine points 159. So we are already pretty much on a good way. I mean, let's let's check out Soul Awakening Gala. No, that's not it. Point details. 2296311 and two BTS. I mean, if you check that out, that statistic is pretty nice. That's really nice. So 1113, 19, 22. Uh, plus two is 24, and then we have 26 summons, two of which beat here. Those give uh, 13 points each, so those were 26 points. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Uh, we still have to decide uh, going for the artifact chest here. Uh, and here I think we can safely go for the sublimations. Let's claim that. Uh, some good loot for us. And we can get another four copies. Do we go for SQH? Oh, I guess we can just go for SQH. Doesn't really matter. I'm going to keep the other chests in case we want to do something. I also noticed um, that we kind of have to go and uh, do something with our skin chests. We we now have like a ton of skin chests, and I really have to make use of those. Um, best case, we will go ahead and upgrade some useful skin for us. If we don't have one, uh, I have to see what we do with it. But like I noticed, like ten chests, something like that. This is way too much. This is way too much. Um, Overall, pretty lucky summons, though. I mean, we don't know what happens in the last few copies that we are going to do, but uh, overall, pretty good summons. Uh, can't complain about that. That's like I made this video on the main uh, um, about the main account about our summons there, and I, I made some jokes about it in the title and the thumbnail about huge luck and then some blue crystals because we basically only got E tiers and some minor summons, nothing really spectacular. But here, I mean, like. I can't complain at all. Whenever you get like a 5,000 attack SQH, you really can't complain at all. So uh, even those last summons, yeah, that's something that we could have gotten on the main account. But that's like, it, it, it doesn't matter anymore once you've got something that is uh, that good. Do we have any copy left that we should summon? Should most definitely summon. Oh, the Homesyang. That's good. Give me a home, good Homesyang as well. Come on. Ah. Uh, we will probably have to do some more summons on Thursday once again because people are going to push. Um, though I expect um, for the for the um, A minus it, it will be enough if I do like two or three. Might not even do a video about it. We will see. Um, it all depends on how much we really have to do in the last summons. There's always a little bit of a problem because you sit there in the middle of the night. It's the middle of the night, by the way, in Germany when when this event ends, like two a.m. or something. Uh, and you wonder, like, how many summons do I need to do to uh, achieve that? That's still not enough. We need to do more summons. <laughs> uh, what else do we have? It's always the problem on the Amazon servers. Also, by the way, the reason why we don't go for an SS core or something, there is just not very much that we can summon. There is not just not very much that we can do here. And um, that kind of makes it difficult for me to... Um, to compete in those events and this is definitely the reason why we don't go for like an SSS core which we could I mean like we could go for it if we had the copies it would be quite easily um, achievable for us we could retire like the Elena that we summoned last time do that and um, then go ahead and do all of those summons um, with the contract story that we got from that but um, that is not really 
yeah, it's not really possible for us because we would run out of copies before we run out of starry gems, uh, which is a weird problem uh, because definitely on every other account, on more established accounts, uh, it would be way different. Can we get like something huge, please? Because I, I run, already run out of copies here that are worthwhile summoning. Uh, then we end up summoning uh, like King Baron and Barrier and stuff, and yeah, that's that's it's not as much fun as getting a good SQH. So uh, I guess some D tiers. Let's let's do some. Come on, we summon like King Barton. Probably get an S tier now. No, okay, we get an E tier. Uh, yeah, that's that's a worthwhile King Barton copy, <laughs> most definitely. I can't. I I don't want to summon the wall deck because we might really use that wall deck. Wall deck is kind of a good hero. Kind of a good hero. So I guess that should be enough for now. Should bring us slightly above two hundred. Not going to do any any with strategies this time of keeping below 100. We have 50 slots. Uh, we don't want to push for top 6 spot or something like that. So it, we are good enough just being visible. So let's see. Now we're 209 points. Ranking 48. So just about in the top 100. At uh, top 50. Uh, and that of course is like... We're not the last place, but... There are barely people below that. I mean, I, I mean, if I if you are uh, on place fifty one with two hundred five points and people fifty is two hundred six, you are bound to do another sum. So it is going to move up a bit still. But we will see how many points we really need in the end. For now, I guess we are good keeping uh, staying where we are. Uh, if we do another ninety one points, that is no problem as well. That is like uh, where is the so well, not that that is something we can still do. Get some more story. Um, soul waking gala. Um, because we can get like a sublimation chest or half a core here. Um, I'm not sure if we want to go for sublimations because we still got a lot of those actually. Because we ended up using um, most of our stellar towards building tenants. So we still have three chests here and those smaller chests as well. So those we can still use. Uh, that is a question for another time. Now I'm just happy that we were able to get some good summons, to get some fun summons, to get a good moment in a summoning video, which is quite rare. Uh, get this nice copy. So quite happy about that. And with that, guys, uh, I think we just... Yeah, we just end the video for now. I will make another video on Star Expedition soon um, because that is ending as well. Um, but that, that video here is just going to get too long. 70 minutes or... Ah, come on, we look, we check it out, we check it out. It feels weird to do two episodes in a row. Uh, we currently placed three. Uh, got a little bit outpaced by Valhalla's Empire. Um, could keep our place three, for now at least. Um, we will keep this. <laughs> I just want to say Apli Clava Clan, they are pretty close because the number looks similar, but there's actually one digit less. So yeah, they are not going to catch up to us. Uh, we couldn't keep up with Valhalla's Empire. They're still stronger against the uh, other bosses. Uh, Soul did insane, Loon did insane points. Uh, we still have to do some points. I experimented a little bit around. Uh, tried to do a little bit with Osis. Osis uh, had a small problem with Osis. Um, thing with Osis is... Where is it? Uh, when the boss does a basic attack. No, that's the active skill. Why is that the active skill? That's the basic attack. Um, reduces their crit by 40% 40, uh, 40 and usually you avoid doing, letting him do a basic attack by feeding him with his passive skill. Every time um, somebody damages him, um, that is not this. Where is it? Hmm. Can't find it. Well, he gains energy every time he's it. And, um, and this makes him makes it so he does only do the active skill. The active skill only reduces armor. Um, and that is no problem at all. But once he reduces crit, he also reduces a ton of your damage, of course. And usually if you have like a team with, um, for example, SFX, she dodges that attack, doesn't gain the crit use. Um, my LFA does, though, so I would have to run cause on, um, would have to run attribute reduction purify on him, but that makes him super vulnerable to CC, so that didn't work out either, which uh, me meant uh, I ended up using using this team again with cause set, and I think now we're just going to one shot the enemy. No, we're not, uh, and that is that is pretty vulnerable. That Ignis is not surviving very well. Uh, we still need to improve that artifact. It does do damage. It does do like 200 mil, something like that. Uh, we can check it out. I'm, I'm not going to wait for the boss to be in any particular health area. 
uh, we're just going to go ahead as it is. As you can see, this Ignis is already in Unbending Will. Uh, not very nice, but this combination was pretty nice, giving us energy, then dying to give us even more energy. And, and the problem, obviously, with us being CC'd for one or two turns is, yeah, if we can easily die uh, for once when we don't crit. That That is one thing. And the other thing surely is um, when we don't attack, we just get more energy drained. And uh, this means we don't get an active skill. So that was, was a problem with, uh, with all this as well. We just ended up getting no active skills at all. And usually he builds up energy. As you can see, every single turn the, we get a little bit closer to an active skill. And that usually helps us. But uh, yeah, didn't really work out with Osis so far. And there we are. This boss apparently strong enough to one-shot us entirely. So we need a few more stats here. Not too great damage here. We had some better days before. You can check it out. We're place three. Okay, what did we do? 1.5 mil here, 2.3 mil, yeah, yesterday was pretty good. 2.6 mil here even, 1.86. Now I was experimenting a little bit, but uh, yeah, it's a pretty bad day today, but mainly because the boss can actually kill us. So that is like the area where we are not in a very good position with our Aspen. So I guess, uh, yeah, they have to improve a little bit on that. Still place three in the clan. Some good damage from all of the people, pretty happy with that. Maybe the summoning gala will help us get more damage as well. Uh, so we can finally strive towards the place 2 in the uh, Star Expedition. But of course, Valhalla's Empire improving as well. And uh, so it's a little bit of a competition, which is quite nice. In any way, guys, I wish you guys a great day and we'll see us in the next one.